Hey guys! Today in Roma's Kitchen, I'll be teaching you how to make this sorrel fruit cake. So if you want to see how to make the best sorrel fruit cake, stick around right after this intro. So to start, we're going to need 14.5 ounces of sorrel. And to this, I'll be adding two cinnamon sticks. And I've washed my cinnamon sticks and I'm just going to add them right in. And this amount of sorrel will give you three cups of puree, which is what is required for this recipe. So here I have three cups of water boiling. And to this, I'll be adding in the cinnamon sticks and also the sorrel petals and you want to use just three cups of water because we're aiming to get a really concentrated liquid at the end so we can use this to actually blend our sorrel petals to get the sorrel puree so i'm just going to cover this and allow it to come to a boil then once you see that this starts to boil like this what you're going to do now is you're going to turn your stove off and you're going to cover this and allow it to steam and to cool down so guys you can just leave this for two to three hours after you turn your stove off you just leave this for the two to three hours and that will be perfect you just want to get this nice and concentrated the liquid and your petals to be nice and soft so this is the soil it has cooled down so the liquid is nice and concentrated and the petals are nice and soft. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to be adding in the petals in my blender here. And because my blender is small, I'm just going in with some of the petals right now, but I'll be, I'll be using all the petals. And in total, I'm going to be using one cup of the sorrel juice. You do not need more than one cup because you want this to be nice and thick. I'm just blending here. And once I finish blending this, I need it really nice and smooth. I'm just going to be adding the rest of my petals to my blender. No more juice. And I'm just going to be blending away until it's nice, smooth and ready. So my puree is ready guys and now here are all the ingredients I need for my sorrel fruit cake. I'll tell you what each ingredient is as I go along. Now to start, I have 200 grams of unsalted butter. I'm just using my hand mixer here and I'm just trying to get the butter you know, loose, nice and soft and you can take your butter out the fridge overnight. So this is ready. So next I'm going to be adding to this two cups of soft brown sugar you want to ensure that the sugar that you'll be using it's soft sugar soft brown sugar so here i'm just creaming the butter and the sugar by using my hand mixer and this will take you around three to five minutes to get everything nice and creamed And every now and then you can use your spatula just to scrape on the sides of your bowl to ensure that everything, all the butter and the sugar comes together nicely. So after a few minutes guys, this is your creamed butter and sugar. Now we'll move on to the eggs and I have here 5 eggs. And I like to remove the eyes of my eggs because I do not want my cake to be raw. So the eyes are those little parts attached to the yolk. And I'm just going to whisk everything together after I've done that. Then to my eggs, I'm going to be adding in a half tablespoon of lemon zest. So the lemon zest will cut rawness and it also contributes some flavor. So I'm just going to add that right in and I'm also going to go in with one tablespoon of lemon juice. Now I'm just going to use my fork to whisk everything together. 
Then I'm going to move on to adding the eggs a little at a time to my cream de butter and sugar. You just want to go in with a little at a time and then you just mix a little at a time and then you just mix until all your eggs have been added to your cream de butter and sugar. And every now and then you just want to scrape down the sides of your bowl. Then you just continue to mix and also continue to add your eggs to your mixture a little at a time until all your eggs are nice and in your cream with butter and sugar. Now that this is all done, I'm going to be going in with this mixture which is 1 tablespoon of vanilla extract, a tablespoon of rose water and 2 teaspoons of almond essence. I'm just going to be mixing everything together. So next I'll be adding in 3 cups of sorrel puree and as you can see here this is nice and smooth because I do not want chunks of the sorrel petals in my cake. Now I'll be adding in one and a third cups of blended fruits and I stewed my fruits guys so my fruits are packed with flavors and I'm just going to be cutting and folding here just to mix all of this together. Now this is not at the redness that I desire for my cake so to this I'll be adding in two tablespoons of red food coloring in total. This is one tablespoon. And I'm just going to mix this together and this step is totally up to you. You can add as much food, red food coloring as you'd like to get it to the redness that you desire for your cake. So that's it for my wet ingredients. It's now time for my dry ingredients. So here I have two cups of all-purpose flour and I'm just running everything through a strainer. Next I'm going to be adding in one teaspoon of cinnamon powder, a teaspoon of ground nutmeg and a quarter teaspoon of cloves. Next I'm going to go in with one and a half teaspoon of salt and one and a half teaspoon of baking soda. Now I'm just going to run everything through my strainer and after that I'm just going to use a whisk and mix, and mix everything together. Now it's time for me to add the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients and I'll be adding this in a third at a time. Then I'm just going to be cutting and folding just to mix everything in and I do not want to over mix my butter so as soon as I see that this third has been nicely folded in I'm just going to add the rest and do the same thing cut and fold until everything is nice and together. So now I'll be going in with a third cup of red wine and I'm using Roma's Kitchen Red Wine here. You can use any sweet red wine you'd like or you can even use some rum. 
and then I'm just going to be folding everything in Now that's about it. I'll be adding this mixture to a loaf tin here and this is a 9 inch pan and it has been greased and lined and guys this consistency is just right. It's just perfect. And you do not need to add too much to your container. Just fill this up halfway and then you're good to go. Now I'm just going to be moving this around a little and I'm just going to be tapping this on the surface to remove any air bubbles that might be in there. And this is now good to go. I'll be adding this now to my preheated oven and my oven has a water bath in it. So you need to rest your cake over a water bath and leave it in a 350 degrees oven for 1 hour and 30 minutes. So this is a mixture of wine and rum which I'm going to be spraying on top of my cake. As soon as it comes out of the oven when it's nice and hot you want to add that on top of it. And you can add more rum than wine if you're a rum person. So I'm just going to leave this to cool and after I've left this to cool down guys this is it. Roma's Kitchen Sorrel Fruit Cake. So this looks good and it tastes even better. It is super moist. So guys, if you like the video, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, don't forget to share the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn your post notifications on. Until next video.